Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to make the water 3D animations in Blender 4.2, something like this, with full water simulations. This is a full tutorial. So start from now, I'm going to show you all the step by step. You can see this is just my previous demo file as I, I had shown you the video just now and this is the original Blender file. And how to create all of this, I'm going to show you everything from the beginning. So this file, I'm going to just close it. I don't save. Right. So now I'm going to close everything. Start from beginning, Blender 4.2. All right, first I press A and delete everything. Next, I will just add a mesh at a cylinder. This cylinder will be one of the water container. Right, so this cylinder, I'm going to just go to the edit modes and then edit it. Just edit a little bit to, to just make it a container. I press E to extrude something like this and check again. All right, this will be the bottom. The bottom of the container, I will just put at a half like this. All right or something like this. Now, back to the object modes, just turn on here. This will be a water container. And then, when you play, after a few seconds here, somewhere here, under the rotations, I'm going to create a keyframe. Then, after one more second, I'm going to just make it down like this so that all of the liquid will just pour so rotation x i make another keyframe so now just replay again you can see now at this moment it is going to pour it in this way next i'm going to create another container at the bottom just add a mesh add a cube Then I'm going to move it up. Right. Put it somewhere here. Just have a look. When it pour, it will be in this direction. The water is going to just flow in. Right now. For this cube, I'm going to edit it as well to make it become a container. I go to the edit mode. Make sure I select the surface and press E to extrude and press S to make it smaller. Then just press E to just extrude into the inner side. All right, now you can see two containers. Now I replay everything before I make any water simulations. So here, just pour it into this another container. Now we are going to make water simulations. First, you need to just add a UV sphere. This UV sphere, first I'm going to let it become a quick water to refill it, to refill water into this. I press S. Need some water stream. Once done this step, just go to wait. Sorry, this is the edit mode. We should not add it here. So I just press L to select it and delete. All the vertices I back to the object modes so now you have a cube container you have a cylinder container next we are going to just add a UV sphere to make it become a water stream so first the water will flow in into here so once you already adjusted the size click it then Go to the object, quick effect, quick liquid. But before that, this this one, the reflector, you need to go to the physics, fluid, just make it an effector. This one also make it an if effector. Then this water source, just go to the object. Then animations, sorry, quick effect, quick liquid. 
then if you try to play you can see it is just something like this all right so we turn on turn on the texture here for this one click the liquid domains we go to the edit modes and have a look we need to adjust properly the liquid domain click this surface make sure it will include everything right make sure it will include everything included both container make sure something like this to cover everything so now back to the object mode try to play wait the water flow is the liquid domain the domain type is liquid that we did set then click the sphere the flow type is liquid the flow behavior just use in flow try to play Alright, now, next, now is not yet the simulation. Next, we are going to simulate everything. Alright, click the liquid domain. And then, before that, just save it. Control Shift S to save as a backup. As demo, I will save it on my desktop. Liquid 01, I click save. Now, under the liquid domains, just scroll down under the physics, scroll down until you can see, until you can see this, type change it to all, and then click back all. At this moment, you need to wait for a while. You can see the start frame, end frame. Now, we, we try to simulate and see how it works. Now you have the water leaking. So again, click, click the sphere, click the liquid domain. Just free, just free offers. You have one more setup. It is the resolutions. Resolution. Change it to one hundred and press enter. Scroll down. And then click back all again and let it run one more time until finish 250 frames. Now it almost finished, just left a few frames and you need to wait for 100% alright almost done and now after it's done just need to watch one more time play right now you can see all of the water simulations and actually you can control you can control the water flow Let's say, let's say at this moment, you want this water to stop. So now, click the sphere. At this moment, we are going to just stop the, inf to stop the flow. So 101. At the frame 1, we create a keyframe for use flow. Then at 101, here, we create, just untick the flow and just take one more time. Then, so that means at this moment, you want it to stop. You want it to stop then, at this moment, you have to click the liquid domain and bake one more time. Right, now it, it is free all. So click free all first, then you can bake one more time. Just bake one more time. Right, almost done. 
100% then you can just watch one more time play the water will fill, fill in and then it will just pour down in this way just one more time Alright, next is the material. We can just turn on the material here. The water, just have a look what type of the material it is. Alright, we can change the color of the water. First, just click the liquid domains. Go to the material. Under the material, just delete the existing material. Delete and just add one manually. The base color it is white color, you can just add some color and then the roughness, just make it to zero metallic and alpha, you can change it something like this All right. then the metallic, you can give some value the IOR, you can also put some value, for example alright the index of refraction, it's okay, just don't worry too much about this. You try to play. So you can see, see all, the, all of these particles, when you render it, you won't see all these particles. So you, you don't need to worry about it. So next, we are going to learn how to render it. First, just drag, move your mouse cursor to the corner here, drag it. At here, switch it to shader editor. Then uh, the object change it to word here. Drag and key in environmental texture. Just open. Open the Blender's folder from the C program file. Blender foundation, Blender 4.2, 4.2 data file, Studio Light, Word. At here, by default, you only can see all of this X EXR, so you can just turn on the thumbnail, just choose choose the one that you want, and turn, turn, turn here on. When you play, you can see, see the background. It is a 3D background. Next, we are going to create a camera. Right. So now, we can create a camera. For this part, just right click, close the area. Next, at here, just add camera. This camera, I'm going to watch here. So click the camera, then go to the constraint, add the constraint, track to, track to, and you select this one. Then. Move your mouse cursor to here, just drag it and turn on a camera view in this way. Now you can move your camera to make sure you can see this. Now the camera is at, at the top here. And then the sphere, you don't want to see it, you can just unseen it. Now, we can just try to render. First, just go to the render output. And here, this is the output folder. The file format, change it to video. Then, now, turn on the texture at here. We can try to render now. Render, render animations. Now you can see it is rendering. And it will become your final video after it finish this. Now the water is filling into the first container and later the flow will stop and it is going to pour into, into the second container after a while. 
So we just wait for the render. Now it is going to render frame by frame. Right now you can see the flow is already ended. And after a few moments, it is going to pour everything into here. It is so much water. Now you can see this part like this just because of the the, the water domain. You can increase the domain size because all of the liquid flow will be inside the domain and all of these containers they are just effective and I guess it is almost done we can just check once it finish to 250 frame the render will finish so now we are going to open the video just right click your file explorer go to the this PC go to the C Temp. It will be inside here. Double click and have a look. This is the final render of the water simulations. Four. Right. You can change change the opacity of the water. You can change the color of the water if you want. All right. That's all for today about my tutorials on how to create the water 3d animations the water simulations the liquid simulation in blender 4.2 and render it as a video and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharings if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to a 3d modeling 3d animations and 3d game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video, tutorials or sharings, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. See you.